what do you do when your test case pass and fail or when you find a bug? These are similar type of questions that we can give similar type of answers. What do you do when your test case pass? Automation. We already talked about when our manual test case pass, we start automating. When our automation test case pass, yeah, we just prepare, report, and upload to Jira. Right? Done. What do you do when your test case fails? Retest to make sure the failure. We are just want to make sure that there is not our pro that there is not a data issue, uh, like uh, retest to make sure from the failure. It can be data issue, or it can be a real bug. But we just wanna retest. Then when you retest, if the if there is a bug. Then, yeah, talk to the developer. Talk to the dev. And let them fix it. Fix the bug. So they will fix the bug. Do, does testers fix the bug? It can also be maybe data issue, maybe typo issue. Typo, maybe document issue. documentation so sometimes documentation can also have some typos right testers do not fix the bug um, developer fix the bug just let them fix it so after the fix after the fix we retest and then when this case passes and we uh, we Upload to Jira. I will, I will copy and paste this answer because they are the same answer. Okay, so this question and this question is just referring to the same fact, which is what happens when something fails. Here, I will tell you one thing. Uh, Jira. The question is, how can I ask a question? So we can create a ticket. Okay, so let me let me do here. So guys, these these one right here, we have two weeks of sprint, right? I will explain you something. I hope you can imagine. So here we have two weeks of sprints. Sprints are the designated time periods for specific tasks. So here, sprint one, sprint one, and here sprint two. Let's say sprint two here, sprint two, and sprint, and sprint two, so on and so forth. Okay, it goes like this, sprint one, sprint two, so on and so forth. So here, this is two weeks of sprint, week one, week two. Sprint three, sprint four. Okay, sprint one, two, three, four. So say we are working on the first sprint. And the developer, uh, you, you are working on, for example, user story one, two, three, one, two, three, one, one, five. And you are working on, for example, page title, okay, page title, page title, page title story. Manual testing, manual testing is good. Manual, my handwriting is not very good, so, but I hope you can read it. Manual testing has. Then you automate it. Automate it. Okay, automate it. Passed. 
So if if the manual testing fails, if this fails in the same sprint, still in progress, right? That the user story is still being developed. What do you do if this manual testings do not pass but fail? What do you do in the same sprint? Talk to the developer. If you keep creating bug for every single mistake of the developer, it is not looking good. So it depends on the team. However, logically, we don't raise ticket because it is still in progress. Developer is still doing some development, still in progress. It may, developer can make mistake. If it fails, talk, talk, talk to them, talk. Then you talk, the developer fixed it. You retested it, it passed. Okay, it passed. You retest it. They are all happening in the same sprint. Passed. Then you do what? The manual testing. Passed. Okay, in the same sprint. We talk to developer, fixed, and then we automate automation passed. Good, good. But let's say sprint two, do you did something? Sprint three, maybe two weeks, three weeks later, four weeks later. You when you test some something else, you figured out this page title, this script, or this script right here, this automation script, you run it, and it failed. What do you do? Yeah, we need to check, retest, right? Retest to make sure from the failure, it can be issue typo, blah, blah. And maybe some other tester by mistake, they can change the script, anything can happen. Not always, but sometimes it can happen. We retest, okay, retest, and it still fails, still fails. Functionality is broken. Then what? It is really bug now, right? It is bug. Then we can, in this case, this developer, we can still talk to developer, okay, talk, talk to dev, but here is the detail. Please pay attention. Can developer fix that issue at this point? This user story is here. It is closed. You said developer, hey, the page title is verifying. Maybe some other developer made a mistake. Can developer fix that problem in the other sprints? We have an automation script. This automation script, for example, we did it in this sprint. We complete it. Everything is good. We demo the user story. The story is closed. But later, that script is failed. Guys, here is the detail. You or any developer cannot fix that problem without a user story. Is there any user story telling us, hey, fix that issue right now? Is that is there any user story telling us fix the page or or verify the page title, fix the page title? Is is saying that we can work on, we can do any development? Is there any story as of now? No stories. Okay. There is no story telling us, hey, fix it. You cannot go back and work on the closed stories. The story is closed. It is no longer there, no longer exists. You can still see in Jira history, but we can, that is very organized, guys. What I like about IT, this uh, uh, development and testing is, everything is organized. There is user stories. If the user story is telling you what to do, you do it. If there is no user story, you cannot do something all of a sudden from your head. No, it will mess up things. Um, uh, so we create a bug. We either create a bug. Okay, so in this case, in this case, developer cannot fix it if there is no ticket. In this case, if the story automation secret failed, what we do is there are two options here. Option one. Uh, create ticket, create you tester, tester, create bug ticket. 
park ticket and assign assign to the user story to the related to the related uh, user story okay user story or future or epic user story we do it 